This is the all new 2020 Hyundai Sonata and I'm gonna show you its latest, greatest, and widest Hyundai touchscreen interface. Now, because this is so wide, you can show three different things at once here on the home screen, of course, where you are, and then uh, the radio uh, information. And the nice thing about this is you can actually still have some presets up here. And then in this case, it's showing some information about what the weather is like here in Oregon. It's not good. Also, it shows it right there in the gauges. It, there are showers. Neat. Okay, so there are other home menus. You go slide to the right and there's all of your different functions. And then a couple more there. Now this does, of course, have Apple CarPlay. There you go. And the nice thing is because this is a wide screen, you still have elements over here on the right and you can go through them. There you go, there's your radio information. So say you're playing uh, the radio and then you're using this for, uh, let's say, Google Maps. Uh, there's your driving distance, there's the time, uh, there's your compass and latitude and longitude if you need to order a missile strike on yourself. There's the weather again. There's information from the climate control, although that's redundant because it's all handled by good old fashioned buttons down here. Always good. Back there. Also, you have some uh, touch activated uh, buttons, menu buttons on the side, which is nice. Now, one of the things that I like about this that's totally weird, let's go to home. Never seen this before. Uh, Sounds of nature. What is that? Well, let's find out. That's right. This seems like it's not the best idea to listen to when driving. Uh, stuff that you would listen to while trying to fall asleep, but... Yeah, I don't need this one here in Oregon. Open air cafe. See, this could be nicely therapeutic uh, in uh, times of social distancing, you know. Uh, okay, let's see. Warm fireplace. Ooh. Although maybe it make you think that the car is on fire. Uh, Snowy Village. Lively forest. Here, let's see if it compares. See, this is not a lively forest. Uh, otherwise, in terms of infotainment features, this car does have wireless smartphone charging. There are two USB ports, one for the media, one j and one that actually charges. But let's go over to the gauge cluster. Now, this is also fully digital screen. And with the uh, drive modes here, you can uh, change the way they look. And they kind of explode forth and splash at you. And that's smart mode, so go into... Boom! Now, you can also change the way the layout is right here. So here, I'll just show you all the different functionality things you can show. So there's accumulated info. This is the attention level it shows you, because this has a driver inattention warning system. As you can see, I've been very attentive. Good for me. Um, oh, wrong thing. And so, but then you can move it over there. So the same information is in there. And then this gives you all of your driver uh, assistant features. And then you can also go through things that way, uh, bringing up the uh, navigation information at the time. Um, so there you go. That is what's going on in the gauge cluster. And again, you can change the, the way it looks, which is nice. So those are some of the features here in the touchscreen uh, infotainment system. I like the way it works a lot. I do like the different um, menus and of course, uh, you know, lively forest. Uh.